Oi. How are you folks? Uh, as Glenn said there, my name is Paul Goff. Uh, I have a, a, a YouTube channel called The DIY Show. Um, if you like to go and have a look, I've got 66 videos on all this crap that's going on at the minute. So uh, we'll just start off again, just to remind the people here, that uh, first of all we're here to enjoy this protest and have a safe day today. So don't antagonise those children in the black pyjamas and the black clavis, alright? And we'll get on with the day, and we'll enjoy it. So, I just wrote out a, a few lines there for you and I'll read them out to you. And first of all, this government is not being honest with the Irish people since the start of this hoax, this scandemic. They've lied every day. They've fooled the people in Ireland into believing that this is a killer virus. Yeah. It's not a killer virus, it's a flu. I also see that the guards are getting more powers to break into your homes yeah. and drag you out if you don't comply yeah. with social distancing. Oh. And you could get six months in prison. Oh, I'm going to read you a quote that I've seen in the newspaper here, and I know we don't believe everything that's in the newspapers. What I do is I look at all the news, I take out the truth, and I get rid of all the crap, yeah. all the lies. This is a quote here. Gardaí may, may also, working with the request of the health or other officials, take a person to a particular place or break in, break and enter into a particular property. We have rights. They shouldn't be allowed to do that. This, this whole idea of wearing face masks is idiotic. If people look at the box that they come in, it clearly states the warning says these masks do not protect you against COVID-19 or any other coronavirus. I know it doesn't. You see people wearing them and then ah. taking them off to eat their food. I was actually in a restaurant there the other day, a woman came in, she had a mask on in the restaurant, took it down, took a bite of her food, put the mask back on. Ah. Crazy. Same thing drinking coffee, mask down, cup of tea or coffee, yeah, yeah, yeah. back up with a mask. Totally stupid. Um, as I say, they don't honestly believe the virus is going to say, hold on, you have your mask off, we're going to attack you now. It's crazy stuff. And as I say, on the person that's eating, leave them alone, they're alright, they're eating food. <laughs> How ridiculous does it seem? As far as face shields, these face shields that you see now, the virus just comes to the face shield, says, hold on, I can't go around that face shield, I better go to the next person that hasn't got a mask on. Crazy stuff. I have asked people, why are you wearing the face shield? And the answer is, to protect against the virus. Really? I could have it, this is what they just say to me, I could have it and I could pass it on. And about 50 people eating food in the restaurant or the pub. But all these people that are eating food with no masks, they're fine. But this one person working in the pub is protecting you by wearing a face shield. Totally ridiculous. Even this idea of pubs, if you go into a pub and have a 9 euro meal, not 8.99 or 9 euros or 1 cent, it has to be 9 euros. With your pints, you're safe. And once you leave the pub 105 minutes, this, uh, where they got this 105 minutes, I don't know. Once you, get, once you leave the pub 105 minutes after you get there, you're safe. If you have an underlying issue, you don't have to wear a mask. Has anyone heard that? This new regulation that they brought out, if you have COPD or you have asthma, you don't have to wear a mask, you're fine. This virus is supposed to be protecting the people with underlying issues and not allowing them to go around without a mask. It's totally fucking crazy. Um, if you look at this with a bit of logic, it's just ridiculous. There's no need for these face masks at all. As everybody else is saying here today, 1,700 people died. Not really. There's only about 1,000 people and all them people have underlying issues. There are a few things we need to do. We need to empower the people. We need to pay. We need, we need to make people realize 
that all is not lost yet. There are three things that we need to do now. Number one, we need to connect. We need to connect with the people, with family, with friends. It will be hard. And a lot of people are still frightened. A lot of people are still listening to the mainstream media and RTE. Turn off your fucking cities and stop buying newspapers. That's the only way. in the mainstream media and on the TV and radio. Nobody here will know there was a killer virus out there. Not one of us. As I say, stop listening to RTE. Yeah. And these people that are asleep will come, will come around. Hopefully, it won't be too late for them or the rest of us. <laughs> Number two, we need to educate people by giving them the facts such as what we're doing here today. Such as give them links and give them YouTube channels and even put them onto the yellow vests here and hear what's going on today and last month and in a couple of weeks time we'll be here again. Yeah. Listen to what's been told to them by doctors and specialists that have come out risking everything to save humanity and to save them and to save all of us. Yeah. Number three, act. We need to act like what we are doing here today. We need to get solicitors and barristers accepted together and get a case against this government. Yeah. 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 We need to get this government out of power before they kill us all. Listeners and barristers, so if there's any of you in the crowd there, come up and speak to us afterwards. We'd be glad to get you on board. As I say, uh, we need to stop this government. We need to stop this tyranny against the Irish people. As I said before, if the Irish people can stand up and fight, maybe the rest of the world will fight as well. We are only a small nation in an ocean. And if we fight against this tyranny, the rest of the world will follow us. We need to stand united. We need to stand shoulder to shoulder. We are not all in this together, but we should be. We are stronger as one. Together we are strong. Alone we fall. Let us rise up and beat this together as one nation. Yeah. Behind our backs, our governments are bringing in new laws to remove our children without the permission of the parents. They can take them using whatever force necessary and put them into hospitals or other or holding facilities where they decide this is not right. No. They can do whatever they want to your children. They can take blood. They can give them whatever injections they want. And all without the need of your consent. Your permission. Is that what we want for our children? months yeah. and before it gets any worse we need to stop this and we need to stop this now yeah. it is all in black and white written down for all of us to see if you look for it everything I have said is under I see this in a magazine or in a paper South Australia you probably all heard of Victoria and how draconian measures to have locked down there COVID-19 Emergency Response Act 2020, 25A, removal of children. All this that's going on in Victoria and other countries around the world will come here if we allow it. And look at all 
those people here today. We're not going to allow it. It's, it seems everything that has gone on around the world has filtered down to us here in Ireland. Flatten the curve. Protect the old people. Protect the hospitals. Everything that had happened all over the world has happened here. So why wouldn't that emergency response that's going on in Australia happen in this country too? You might not believe it could happen here, but it will. If we let it. The time to act is now. I want to do one more thing now. As we see again, the banks, KBC and other banks, are coming in sending paramilitary style gangsters to repossess houses from the people, struggling with the rents and their mortgages. This is not right. The Irish government has lied to us again and said there will be no repossessions while the pandemic is raging. So is the pandemic over? Is that why they're taking homes off people now? The pandemic is over so they can go and repossess people's homes. They don't think so. Irish people are so ill-informed about the wearing of face masks. I've seen a live stream there one day, and a woman actually said, do you not have to wear a badge saying you're exempt? Like a yellow star, maybe. Does that sound familiar? The Germans. So, I'm going to wrap it up there, and I'd just like to say thanks to the Yellow Vests, Glenn, Mark, Lorraine, and the rest of the gang here. And for each and every one of you people, I can't all shake your hands, but I'd like to thank you all for coming today. And to support your own rights. And support the time for change. And don't forget, look up my channel on YouTube, The DIY Show. And make sure you enjoy the videos and subscribe. And leave a comment. So, thanks very much, people, for coming out. Sorry about the weather.